Hey guys, and welcome back to Smokescreen Gaming, and I figured I'd do another Fortnite Kills compilation. And the point of these are not to go through and show off any kills, because they're not spectacular by any means. But I want to go through and, you know, kind of show you my progress, and probably what a lot of other people are feeling out there with Fortnite, because there's so many people playing it. But there's still so many people without any wins. So I figured I'd throw up these kills compilations, and I have plenty more of these to come, by the way. And kind of go over in each clip what I did right and what I did wrong, and believe me, I did a lot wrong. So let's jump right into it and check this out. So this first clip is early game, and I am in the bunker near Snobby Shores. I hear somebody, so I see him there, and I take the shot, I get the bead on him, and I aim at his head with a shotgun. Now this is with a regular tack shotgun. So I decided, you know what, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to build here. I'm going to try to get through this and get close range since he had an SMG. But the problem is I took too much damage. And the other thing is, is I did not switch over to my little SMG, which I could have during that time I was reloading. I just completely forgot. It was so early game that I didn't even remember I had other weapons. And, of course, in the heat of the moment, you're not really thinking about it, although you should be, and that's where good players come in. I could have switched to the SMG without reloading, and I could have used the impulse grenades as well to blow him off the side or just blow him away from me since he had no gun. But I didn't think about it. I just thought about, I got to get this close shotgun kill. All right, so this next clip, early game as well in the same place. And I'm coming in the bunker. I hear somebody, and I realize, wait a minute, they don't know where I am, so I found them. Now, I will say right here, this was absolutely the right play right here. I uh, was the aggressor. I heard them. They didn't know I was there. Uh, if they heard my footsteps, it was too late. They didn't know where they were coming from. So I jumped down in the pool and sprayed them with the SMG and just took them out really quickly before they had time to shield up. So I made sure they didn't have time to get all those weapons, pick up a shotgun or whatever, and uh, have time to verify my location, not really worrying about a great aim because you don't have to aim down sights when you're that close. Next clip, more shotgun stuff. As I said, I've been trying to get better with these shotgun battles, so I'm trying to actually get good without having to build. And, and I understand that's kind of counterintuitive for winning a game or taking less damage. But at the same time, it does give you more experience in these close quarter combat shotgun battles. Next clip, early game as well. We are at Anarchy Acres here, and I've had just a pistol. We had literally just landed. This guy, I immediately got a pistol, and I saw him and did not want to give him a chance to find any gun. So I started shooting, to, even if I missed him, to make sure he was trying to move and not go and find a gun away from the chest area or the little barn we were in where there were possibly other weapons. And then he commenced to run and try to jump, but I simply used uh, my timing there, which has gotten a lot better, and took him out here with a nice little shot as he ran away. Next clip here, I'm playing duos with my cousin, and we come up in Fatal Fields, and we see two teams fighting, so I do the right thing here and take the high ground. I get on top of the house and realize the team is fighting from the Porta Fort over there, is fighting this guy right here in front of me. He had no idea I was here. And I didn't know he was up there either, but I still did the right thing in taking the high ground at least and coming up behind him. Simply switched over to the scar and picked him off right here. He still had no idea where the shots were coming from. Although my aim was not great right there because I was just so surprised that he was still looking the other way. So after we knocked him and I realized I need to start focusing on the team in the port fort I realized they're not rushing me like they should be. After I knocked the one, I didn't want to give them time to heal in the port of fort and I definitely wanted to rush them after I did so much damage. And what you didn't see here on this cut out is I was completely out of materials. This is very early game, so I actually jumped down as my partner kept shooting at them and kind of drawing their attention. I jumped down and got behind them and grabbed some wood really quick off the barns. And this is when I built up here, built up right behind them and said, while he's shooting from the back, I'll go ahead and jump in. They won't know what's going on. And they were still facing the other way, as you can see, and easily got both kills there with a scar before they even had time to switch to their shotgun. So ended up getting three quick kills here early game just from being the aggressor. Next clip here, early game again in duos. My partner had just got down right outside. We had went to different barns. I would literally just picked up a shotgun. He got down before he even got a gun, and I ran out here. And they were focused so much on killing him and just getting the kill, they didn't think about his teammates, so they were both focusing on him and I was easily able to come out and take them out both with a shotgun. This next clip here, again, early game, we're in Fatal Fields and duos here, and uh, get a couple shotguns here, here shooting. They downed my partner, team ran up on him, and same type of thing here, they're so focused on the kill, they don't think about the teammate coming up. I was able to get this kill fairly easily because he was so focused on getting the kill when he knocked down my teammate, he didn't think about that he did have a teammate somewhere so that's why a lot of times you want to get the knockdown and you want to immediately look for their teammate and not give them a chance to res them 
or heal them or build around them and protect them. So I understand the idea of wanting to go ahead and take out somebody. In certain cases, you can. He was focused so much on getting the kill done that he didn't think about he had a teammate somewhere, and I was simply able to run out with a shotgun and take him out. This next clip was similar in the sense of uh, early game here at Fatal Fields. I was actually on the roof when I heard this guy running, and I fell off the roof there and took a little fall damage. He built up above me, so I shot the floor out from under him and brought him down to my level. So in this case, instead of me rebuilding up to the roof, I knew he was on one floor there. I knew exactly where he was, so I shot his floor out from under him, which, again, I've been trying to practice more and more. So I do lose a lot of these, but I also am starting to win a lot more of these, and I'm also learning when and when not to build and all that good stuff as well. So I knocked him down here, and this goes back to what I was saying a minute ago. I was so focused on wanting to just go ahead and kill him so I wouldn't have to worry about him later that I do take a shot from his teammate here. So I did make the same mistake the other guy did in the previous clip where I downed a teammate, and then it's obviously if you don't instantly kill him, you know there's somebody still alive as far as a teammate goes when you're doing duos or squads. So I focused on the kill, and then I ended up taking damage, but I played it very, very wrong here. I should have immediately built a little ramp and got the high ground, but I was lucky enough to be able to hop around and time it right and finally get the kill. And this next clip is kind of the same thing, but I wanted to throw this in there as kind of an example of what not to do. Although I got the kill here, I got knocked down at exactly the same time, so we essentially killed each other. But the point being here is that you don't want to take damage in these fights. I know at first when you start getting kills, you're not really thinking about it. You just want to get the damn kill to start racking up some numbers. I'm the same way still, as a matter of fact, but I have learned you want to not take damage in these fights. Here. So instead of just hopping around, although again, I am purposely doing it in some cases to kind of get better at the timing of the shotguns in the game, but sometimes it's simply a mistake not to build right there. So it shows you I got the kill, but it didn't really matter as I got knocked down at exactly the same time. And then of course I could take damage from his teammate or whatever. So it just goes to show you when you have these fights, you don't want to just get the kill you want to get the kill with the least amount of damage possible because there's always somebody coming up next, especially in duos or squads. This next clip here is early game again in Anarchy Acres. I had actually picked up a grenade launcher, which is rare for me to actually get a good weapon early game. I heard two guys over here in the other barn here, so I just went ahead and sprayed it down with a few rounds I had. I actually got the knock and the kill. I thought both the teammates were in the barn, so I was hoping to kind of get a double kill there. He did have a teammate left, but I don't think we ever saw him, so I don't know if they had jumped separately or what. Explosives are very, very underrated. You want to use explosives when you can in this game, whether that's grenades, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, whatever. But when you have explosives, like rocket launchers especially, that do so much damage and make you have to constantly think about rebuilding, they will win 9 out of 10 times. Now this next clip is pretty straightforward. I am in Haunted Hills here, uh, early game once again. I hear two guys fighting, so I kind of come up around behind them and let them kind of fight each other, which is the smart thing to do. This is the smart play here. He doesn't know I'm here as I come from the back of the area when they're fighting up front. I see him kill the other guy and he starts to loot him. He has no idea I'm there. And the reason I wanted to put that clip in there was to show you once you kill somebody, don't automatically run and just loot everything without building around you to protect yourself unless you know for sure that you are completely alone. And while you're in a fight, you are very weak likely if you took any damage. And that's why you always want to take shots when you see somebody. You have no idea how weak they are if they have shields and if they just got out of a fight. And that's what happened here. He killed the guy. He focused on the loot so much. He didn't think that somebody could have possibly came up behind him. Next clip, pretty straightforward, uh, pretty early game again here. I'm on top of the mountain here near Snobby Shores. I hear somebody come up to the house. I had just got an SMG. I heard them coming towards the house, and this was as simple as just waiting for them to open the door and walk in. I don't believe they were aware I was even in the house. Otherwise, they probably would have built up and came in through the roof or at least opened the door and backed up a little bit to the side, but they came straight in and walked right into an SMG to the face. Next clip is kind of a similar situation. Early game, I'm over near Pleasant Park at the crater, at the house near the crater. I hear somebody come in the house or come up to the house. I'm not exactly sure here where they are. At this point, I thought they were downstairs, so I took the opportunity to try to just hopefully land this boogie bomb to at least identify their position. So I throw a boogie bomb down the stairs where I think they are because I thought I heard them on wood floors. So once I realized they were on the wooden deck right outside, I dropped down after the boogie bomb had no effect, obviously and I was able just to drop down the way for them to drop in the door. And obviously I'd already had the blue burst, just cocked and loaded and ready to go. So as soon as they walked in the door, 
boom, there's nothing really to do. I'm so close that anything is going to do a lot of damage. And last but not least, this is a pretty good little clip here. And I wanted to show you this because you just don't know what's going to happen in this game. Because you just don't know how this game's ever going to play out. It's going to be different every single time. If you play more passively, you may be used to not seeing many people. But sometimes when you learn to rotate better, you will run into more people. And this is what happens here. And I took this shot here because, like I said earlier and in the previous kills compilation video, if you see somebody, sometimes you try to question whether to take the shot or not because you don't know their status. But that's the point. You do not know their status. They could be very weak, just got out of a fight, no shield, whatever. And you want to take the shot at least. At least you'll get experience. Even if you do get in a fight and die, you'll get experience and get better. So I take the shots here. My aim's actually pretty decent that particular day and got the kill with the blue burst, which does pretty good damage. I'm actually enjoying the burst now, whereas I used to hate the damn burst. But here's the point here is I ran up to loot here. I was jumping and hopping to do the right thing so I wouldn't get sniped. Somebody starts to take a shot at me. I take a little bit of damage, but I did the right thing and immediately built at least a little ramp to pinpoint their location. I started going for the loot, but as soon as I took the damage, I immediately built, which is the right thing to do. I can always worry about the loot later, but first I have to survive. So what I could have done is pop some shields here, but I felt like since they were shooting and I didn't see any building, that I could probably save those. So that could have been a questionable move there, where I could have just ducked down and popped two minis really quick. I noticed they were not building, so I felt like, okay, I can probably take them out. They're not rushing me. They're not being aggressive. I'll go ahead and take the chance of not popping these minis here and was able to get two quick kills based off the gunfire that I drew from the first one. So then of course I can worry about going back and get the med kit and loot and I ended up running over getting that loot as well, putting a little fort around myself and healing up and everything and popping my minis anyway and went on to have a pretty good game. So anyway guys, that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you getting better at Fortnite? Have you got a win yet? And are these little tits helping a little bit? I know you can watch Ninja and Daquan and Myth and all these great gamers Dr. Lupo, etc., all these Twitch streamers and YouTube streamers as well. But I think the majority of us are probably just average players because we don't have the time to play as much as those guys. So kudos to those guys. They put in all the time and effort, and that's why they're so damn good. But sometimes when you watch those videos like how to get better at Fortnite, it ends up being pretty general tips, and it's a lot easier said than done because they make it look so easy. So I just wanted to show you real gameplay from an average player where I'm wanting to get better and learning these little tips and tricks. And I'm going out and actually kind of dying on purpose in a lot of cases to kind of get better with these particular weapons. You want to master every weapon in the game, especially for early games, because you never know if you're going to get a pistol or a three-round burst or perhaps a scar or whatever. you got to learn to fight with anything you got, especially early games, to get yourself established and get you some good loot for the end game. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.